Hey guys, uh, by ooh, public request, some of you are very interested to see if you put a CPU in isopropyl alcohol, does it dissolve? Because it came from some questions that arise from uh, people cleaning the top, you know, the paste and all that with uh, isopropyl alcohol and a cloth, which uh, that's how I do it too. And somebody came across and said, well, that will dissolve the dye and we'll split it and all that cool stuff. And we are here to make it in the most extreme way. In this uh, stainless steel dish, I'm gonna put both the uh, CPUs and I'm gonna submerge them both under 91% isopropyl alcohol. Most people to clean them use 75%. I'm going to use 91%. The CPUs are old, so I don't really care even if they break completely. It's going to be an AMD from 2005. And the other one is going to be an Intel. That's 2004 or 5, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, 04. So, well, let's go ahead and put them on right here. And let me put the Intel right here. Unfortunately, the dish doesn't fit them that flat and perfect, but you get the point. That's I'm put, um, uh, intentionally putting the AMD because it has those small legs under, so it holds on the air. So every contact is an alcohol and this one on top of it. And now let's submerge them under alcohol so you guys can see if anything happens. I doubt it, but we got to see it to believe it. Is it just me or it just feels so wrong doing this one for some reason? But we're gonna do it right on the name of science. And uh, here are both our uh, CPUs submerged under alcohol. Yes, I see some small bubbles coming out. There might be some truth under that, okay? I, that's why I did not dismiss the whole claim that they will dissolve under alcohol. So... That's why I'm keeping it this simple in this way. And I'll keep recording for, if it takes hours, we'll do hours. At least for an hour, for sure, unless something happens before that one hour. So far, all we had is one bubble. And you see right there, that is a bubble. And there's a second bubble coming from the AMD processor. And with that said, let's keep on going. You might see it in a sped up version of this video, but uh, in reality, these two will be underwater for as long as it takes. And here it is. Okay, it's been uh, two hours and a half right now, and nothing has really happened to the CPUs, even though they've been submerged under uh, alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. And uh, let me just lift one of them. This is the Intel. And as we see right here, nothing has really happened. Put it on the camera. Yeah, nothing has really happened. Yeah, it's wet from the alcohol, but nothing to see. There's no splits on the seams there's no melting all the pieces are still there now let me pull the amd and uh, let me just get rid of this, some stuff and as we see nothing really has happened to this one either yes i just bent one of the legs but i don't care and on the back nothing on the sides absolutely nothing as well now do they work or not that part i'm not even gonna try right now plus i don't really have a suitable board to test any of them at this moment so unfortunately i can't test that part but by hand i tried to separate them they're not separated so nothing has really happened under here and in conclusion i would say that nothing really happens to them or at least nothing has happened to them in this uh test that we did and uh yeah for the whole claims that are saying that just by why simply wiping them you know to remove the paste that's just not true it's not gonna really damage it or kill it or melt it or whatever that that, that claim is i would call this a debunk claim 
and a not true it's not true at all as you see right here none of the components have desoldered or melted or any of that stuff and here are the seams nothing's out of the ordinary for how these cpus are supposed to be anyway and here's the second one as well if you see it from close nothing has happened to it and here are the sides nothing has happened to it either so i would say we are safe to wipe them with alcohol and nothing will happen to them or no damage will occur to them but always be careful when you work on them because things can happen but the claim that they would melt somehow is just simply not true and uh with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and uh we'll see you in the next one bye